Welcome back, everyone. It's my pleasure to next introduce a company whose work in the realms of psychedelics, group therapy, and virtual reality is quite unique in a space that's already against the grain in and of itself. Uh, and their work is something that I have been personally really eager to learn more about. That company is Anuma, and its co-founder and CEO is Greg Rufa, who is here to enlighten us on the company's work. Uh, it is really nice to meet you, Greg. Great to meet you, Victoria. So my journey to Anuma starts with a psychedelic trip that I had in college, um, a vision uh, on LSD of people connecting from their hearts without any of the superficial identity structures that gets in our way. Um, everybody was connected at this party with everybody else. And there was none of that stuff that seems to be tearing our world apart. That vision propelled me to start my first VR company in 1995 in San Francisco, which was a time of techno utopianism. Um, Timothy Leary, after trying VR for the first time said, this is what's next. It's digital acid. And like a lot of things, Leary was right in some ways, very wrong in other ways. 95 was too early for VR. Uh, I moved on, co-founded Corrigo, one of the world's first successful uh, enterprise cloud-based enterprise software applications. Uh, we sold that to JLL. And in 2019, uh, I left Corrigo uh, to start uh, a path towards building products that were truly healing to people. In my own life, two things have been particularly transformative, psychedelics and group process psychotherapy. Anuma is a digital therapeutics company. Our focus is on mental health. And an assumption of viewers of this presentation is that they understand that we're in the midst of a worldwide mental health crisis, one that COVID has underlined and exacerbated. We view the troubling mental health trends as indications of a more fundamental problem that underlying many of the world's challenges is a disconnectedness often expresses loneliness, anxiety, or isolation from our own bodies, from other people, and from, importantly, the natural world. Like many people, we believe that psychedelics hold one of the keys to a more thriving future. But beyond the clinical implications of psychedelics, we believe quite simply that psychedelics make us better humans. However, psychedelics aren't for everyone. What you're looking at here is a population weighted map of the world. And even in the best case medicalization decriminalization scenarios, a decade from now, three quarters of the world's population will still lack access to psychedelics. Anuma creates digital therapeutics at the intersection of psychedelics and virtual reality, built on an understanding that it is connection a sense of connectedness is foundational to our mental, behavioral, emotional health and well-being. Our target product is an FDA approved 100% digital therapeutic to address depression with follow on products for anxiety, substance abuse and other disorders. We're at a historical inflection point where a set of so called exponential technologies can be applied to these problems. These include immersive technologies, augmented reality, virtual reality, biosensors like this watch, and machine learning. They can be brought together to create psychosocial technologies that promotes healing, inspiration, and connection. Our audacious vision is the creation of technology that gives people a sense of their wholeness and their connection to everything in the world around them. We've got a fully functional proof of concept. We call it ISNIS. In it, three to six people from wherever they are in the world meet with a live facilitator for a one hour, beautiful experience of music, meditation, and movement. We're currently in the process of taking that proof of concept and turning it into a platform for the delivery of what we call pneumodelics. We've got uh, authoring tools, uh, the, the facilitator tools and the client apps, as well as two pieces of content and a host of scenes and other music that can be brought together by clinicians to take people through these opening transformative experiences. 
we've got proof of efficacy. What you see here is a graph that compares our experience in the dark blue lines uh, to experiences. This is our experience, 100% digital, no psychedelic substances involved. Comparing it using the MEQ-30, same scale that's been used in 26, more than 26, published research studies. And this is a comparison of that. So at the bottom, you've got nine placebo studies of psychedelics. The beige band here is low dose studies, uh, seven moderate dose studies in the blue and three high dose studies in the green. Higher is better on this graph. And the MEQ-30 uh, weights people on questions across four, four primary uh, bases. Um, and these are psychologically beneficial uh, values of the experience themselves. So ineffability or the inability to understand what's going on, what to express what's going on, mystical or unitive type experience, positive emotion, transcendence in space and time. And as you can see, our results with using VR without any substances are comparable to moderate dose psychedelics. And we're particularly high on positive emotion. People come out of the experience feeling really good. Uh, my team is the most impressive thing about Anuma. Our core team has published more than 110 peer-reviewed articles in scientific journals spanning the domains of psychology, neuroscience, virtual reality, and physics. Dr. Joe Hardy has been in the forefront of research into the understanding and improvement of brain function for more than a decade. He was head of R&D for Lumos Labs, the makers of Lumosity. Uh, he received his PhD from UC Berkeley and has spent the past decade creating software to improve brain function. Dr. David Glawacki is a brilliant cross-disciplinary scientist and one of the world's leading experts in scientific use of VR simulation. His mission to marry hard science with spirituality. Dr. Robin Carhart-Harris of UCSF is the world's leading neuroscientist in the field of psychedelics. He's an advisor to Numa. He's been through a proof of concept several times. He loves it and sees it as the future. We're collaborating with Dr. Card Harris's lab next year on a trial scheduled to start in April, uh, combining VR technology with mesodose psychedelics. From our proof of concept, as I mentioned, which we're turning into a platform for the delivery of psychedelics, we're working, I'm sorry, for the delivery of pneumodelic experiences, 100% digital, which we're delivering to mental health clinics, um, specifically strategic partners, um, including, uh, I'll mention them on the next page, but Kuya, um, strategic uh, consulting firms, boutique consulting firms, they're bringing this into high impact organizations around the world. And what we're doing in this first stage is uh, providing exclusive access to what we're referred to as the strategic development partners to complete out our platform and generate core content uh, finishing our core IP. This we will take uh, two clinics as a platform in phase two, ketamine clinics, retreat centers, progressive consulting firms uh, to provide a unique psychoactive container that supports easier and more effective therapy to groups. Um, this will allow us to collect uh, psychographic uh, bio, um, bio information uh, as well as from movement, from galvanic skin response, from HRV, uh, and turn that into a 100% digital therapeutic uh, for delivery in phase three uh, to corporate health medical centers, as well as the other clients that we've been working with. Uh, this is a psychedelic replacement therapy in phase three, provides the benefits of psychedelics without the substances. From a business model standpoint, phase one is R&D. We've got three contracts ready, we're uh, pricing this opportunistically to work with a limited number of, as I mentioned, strategic development partners. Phase two, bringing this to client clinics, a target price of $50 per participant per session, uh, where at the end of year two with our model, um, we'll be doing about 1,000 participants per month. And phase three, the 100% digital therapeutic is where the real return is here. This is a slide showing those three phases in terms of performer revenue um, over both time frame as well as the accretive nature of the platform plus the digital therapeutic. 
Uh, we're early. Uh, this is our first raise. We're uh, closing a round of 750K in convertible note funding as part of a larger $3 million seed funding. Uh, all of this will take us to the end of our phase one, which is to collect data on over 20,000 sessions um, to get to a 2 million annualized run rate and complete out our core IP. Thank you for sharing all of that with us, Greg. Um, I, uh, I love, um, you know, this theme that we keep coming back to in our conversations is, uh, you know, about these novel therapies is the fact that today, more than ever, um, radical solutions are, are needed um, to help people heal from, you know, this range of mental ailments, um, you know, that we're all sort of collectively struggling with, um, and uh, solutions like Anuma certainly stand out. So just talking about this idea of 100% digital therapy, you know, without the use of uh, molecular psychedelics, um, it is again, very unique. And so I'm wondering why, why would someone who's interested in psychedelic therapy go this, you know, completely digital route? Good question. So in some cases, as you, as you're aware, uh, psychedelics are contraindicated um, in many, most, almost all jurisdictions, they're also illegal currently. Um, also, even if they're not contraindicated, a number of people have a significant anxieties about psychedelics. And so there are multiple uses for this in the overall course of psychedelic therapy. Um, one is a stepping stone to introduce people to uh, a more open, uh, ungrounded experience, um, something that can connect them uh, with things that are greater than themselves. Uh, the other is, and I think this is important, is that those sort of spaces, those sort of psychoactive spaces can be particularly helpful in terms of integrating a psychedelic experience back into your normal life. And so uh, multiple uses, one entirely alone, but there's also the ability to bring people back to psychedelic experiences and help them integrate it afterwards. And in particular, using group peer-based experiences allows people to um, really scale the 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 technology um, doing the peer group work the social work so much of the psychedelic world is focused on the individual and as i'm sure you're aware uh, therapy you know the, the labor intensive nature of the therapy is quite difficult um, it's quite expensive and so being able to bring groups together and leverage therapies therapist time is an important aspect of what we're doing 100%. And so now we've looked at the, you know, the advantages to uh, people that are undergoing the therapy. I'm interested in you know, some of the advantages to um, your partner clinics. So when we look at a 100% digital platform, you know, what kind of cost savings um, does this type of therapy provide to your partners over a traditional, for lack of a better term, um, psycho, um, you know, assisted um, psychedelic therapy session, you know, where um, a patient will be dosed and it, you know, the therapy will be one-on-one, -on -one. Um, you know, what, what kind of advantages does the Anuma platform provide? So leveraging the therapist time is a big piece of it, right? So giving therapists more, uh, more allowing the therapist time to be more beneficial as applying it to more people through the use of group work. Um, sure. That's one big piece, but it also provides for many of the clinics that we're working with today um, a certain additional service that they can offer um, other than just ketamine today. Uh, so it, it's it's a cost savings, but it's also a service that allow that they are allowed to offer um, sure. to bring people together. Um, beyond that, uh, they can people can do this from the comfort of their own home. Uh, they yeah, can be exactly. we. Yeah. So we deliver, um, you don't need hardware. We can supply all the hardware. We deliver a box like this to people's doorstep. It contains all the equipment you need um, and connect it to your Wi-Fi, um, drop in at a specific time with the live facilitator, uh, and you're good to go. And so it allows them to have, allows clinics and sites to have greater reach, um, not bring, having to bring people into their clinics for every session. 100%. And so I'm wondering what your team 
would consider Anuma's place to be in the the therapeutic landscape in the future. Um, you know, there are going to be a lot of different operators offering you know different types of therapy with you know different compounds. And again, th this is such a, a unique um, prospect. What where do you think Anuma will fit uh, in the future? So. Um this additional service that can be provided by these clinics, um, both as a stepping stone as well as the, the core component, the core psychoactive component uh, of the therapy, as well as the ability to provide um, uh, improved integration capabilities, improved um, uh, post-psychedelic trip uh, integration of those experiences back into people's normal lives. And so we, we see it as an adjunctive therapy and as a replacement therapy. Great. And so just looking at um, the, the rays that uh, Anuma is um, amid, we understand that, the, that your team is working to raise $750,000 of pre-seed capital as part of a, a targeted $3 million needed to, to fund your initial commercial phase. Um, and again, this is a space that's becoming increasingly populated. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it's crowded yet, but uh, there, there are, you know, more players coming, uh, you know, onto the stage every day. And so with, you know, many investors um, are still looking to, to allocate capital uh, to great companies and to those who may be watching and are still uh, you know, looking to, to devote capital to, to new interesting companies, um, what would you say to them? Why, why choose Anuma? So this is our first raise, as I mentioned. We've got a world-class team. We've got a important mission. Um, and we've got a proof of efficacy on a uh, fun, beautiful experience uh, that is exactly the sort of technology that the world needs today, technology that actually brings people back to life, back to connection with other humans, particularly sure. in, in days of you know, the, the, the post-COVID or, or still COVID pandemic days, the ability to bring people closer together and to share in these sort of experiences is it's important for healing, for inspiration, for that sense of connection. Great. And is there anything, you know, we've covered a lot of ground and we've given um, you know, people a great overview. Is there anything that you would like people to know about the team, about what you're working on currently, that you're excited about? Anything that we may not have covered that um, you think would be, um, you know, valuable for for our investor audience to know? Yeah, I think it's important to see where we are and the value of the technology that we're building. That this is a platform. That there are tremendous opportunities for that platform uh, to work its way into this growing network of retreat centers, mental health clinics, psychedelic clinics. Um, where our target is, is this FDA approved uh, digital therapeutic. Sure. Um, and yet there's tremendous opportunity. And so we're working with one client in particular, who's a boutique consulting firm, as I mentioned, okay. working with very high impact clients um, that uh, can take our platform and extend it into directions that we're not going to focus on, but uh, can provide all sorts of additional revenue opportunities in the future. A ton of versatility. Yeah. Great. Well, Greg, this has been wonderful. Thank you so much for your time and uh, for sharing uh, all these great details on, on your company with us and with our audiences. Great. Thank you very much, Victoria. Thank, Thank you. you.